And this is the first part of a video series called Time Series Data Visualization Analysis and Forecasting. As its name suggests, I'm going to talk about time series and how to visualize them, how to analyze them, and how to forecast them. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about time series visualization analysis and forecasting of them. First of all, we need to import the libraries that we want to use. And uh, I'm going to uh, copy and paste some libraries over here. Please note that some of these libraries I'm not going to use in this video. Some of these libraries, I just import them to use them in future videos that I'm going to make about analysis and forecasting. And also, as I, if I need more libraries, I'll add them in the code as well. Okay, so the next step is to read the data that I want to. So the data that I want to show you right now is climate data. Um, if you want to download the data, you can go to the description section of this video and download the data. I have uploaded the data under content section of Google Colab. So you can see the data is right over here. Now I just want to read this, this data. So this is essential. This piece, two lines of code reads the CSV. Uh, the climate data and then it will show you the head of the data so let me run the code over here there we go you can see that we have many columns the first column is time and the last column is snow depth let me tell you about the headers st represents soil temperature at different depth 10 centimeter 50 centimeter and 100 centimeter average air temperature average relative humidity average wind speed average wind direction total solar radiation and also snow depth these are all the data that we have it will give us an ability to work with this time series that have a timestamp and see how they vary over time all right now that we have the time series we need to change the index to date also the data starts from 2014 november and let me show you the tail of the data as well so you can see it goes all the way to january 1st 2023 so we have a lot of daily data right one observation for all of these variables per day if you take a look at the first column that doesn't have any header this column is called the index of this data frame now the index right now is not equal to the time but analysis and forecasting of time series requires you to have the index equal to the timestamp okay so this is what we are going to do right now to make sure that um, the index is equal to the timestamp as well so i'm going to going to write a piece of code that says that um, put the index of the data frame equal to this column of the data frame and that column is the time column this one right and let me just show you how it's going to look like when you run it right now you can see that instead of the numbers that gives me the total number of data points that i have uh, the index is dates right this is really good because it will help us to analyze our data easier um now you will see that i have two columns calling time right so i can get rid of this one and getting rid of a column in um, pandas is also very easy as well so i'm gonna right over here write another line of code you can see df.drop and the label that i want to drop is time access equal to one that means that i am going to drop this column and in place is true so it will show the data frame like this so now you can see that the time does not show up over here anymore all right, let's move to the next part, which is visualization part. Now we want to visualize every single variable that we have over here. Soil temperatures, air, average temperature, so on and so forth. We can do them one by one, but that's not what we want to do. We're going to use Python to make this process automated, right? So in order to do that, the first thing that I want to do, I'm going to write the titles of the graphs that I want to generate. What do I mean by that? So these, this header over here is the title of each column, right? But I explained to you what each of these are, right? So I actually create a list over here, call, call it titles, and explain what each title is. For example, this first one is the soil temperature at 10 centimeter, and the unit for that is degrees Celsius, right? So on and so forth, all the way to the snow depth, which is the last one, right? So this is a list that I created, so it will help me to create a better 
visualization later and you will see how it um, it can help you the next thing that I want to do I want to have a list of um, headers like all of these lists right so I again create another um, list over here and I call it column names and df.columns will give you that list so if I want to show you how it will look like for example it will be something like this okay now you can see that this list has the names of all starting from soil temperature 10 centimeter C all the way to snow okay now I'm going to create a function I'm going to develop a function that visualizes the data that I have. Let me copy and paste the function that I have already created, and then I will explain different parts of it. Okay, so I have defined a function called visualize, and that function takes the input of data, and this data is my data frame, right? Okay, the first thing that I have done, I have extracted the dates out of my data frame, and the dates are in the index right so data.index that extracts the dates then I have I, I create a figure and that figure has lots of subplots I want my subplots to have three rows and three columns right and then the figure size I have given it over here you can change this number and you can change the DPI which is the quality of the figures or the graphs that you want to okay inside my function I have a for loop that reads the name of different columns and visualizes those columns so this would be the name of the column that I am interested in and then this is the data for visualization it goes to my data frame find the name of the column and grab grabs the data for visualization and then again the index for the data is equal to date time that I have defined over here and eventually I have here uh, I have plotted vis uh, subscore underscore data I plotted that notice that this is just a trick to tell Python that where to plot each of those variables where is snow temperature where is snow depth for example where is soil temperature so on and so forth and then for the title of each subplot I have this these titles over here this ROT is the rotation of the x-axis and the color gray is the color of the lines graphs that I have all right the last one is a matplotlib a function over here that puts these plots nicely tightly together and eventually what I want to do uh, I want to call this function right so I'm going to call visualize and then instead of data over here i'm going to give it the data frame that i have which is df right okay so now that i have this let's run this and see what happens there we go okay so now you can see that i have visualized everything starting from the soil temperature 10 centimeter 50 centimeter and 100 centimeter exactly these that i have over here and then air temperature relative humidity and so on and so forth so now we have a good grasp of our data how it changes over time we can see the time span we can see the y-axis and temperatures and how it spreads out we, sometimes you can see the relationship between these and so on and so forth all right this short video was part one of a video series called time series data visualization analysis and forecasting Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel for the next part of this video series.